flash back to the 80s and 90s, right? In the UK, the symbiotic relationship between corrupt officers at Sydenham Police Station, down here at the bottom, and certain media members was so intense that the area where both offices were located earned the nickname News of the World Regional Crime Squad. Now meet Commander Ray Adams. He was the big shot who was the head honcho of criminal intelligence for the Metropolitan Police in that area. Commander Ray Adams has a story that's deeper than any rabbit hole I have ever seen. To understand the whole story, we need to take a little detour into his own story to get the lowdown on this guy and to see why he was crucial to our crazy tale. Before we continue, if you're not already part of the Isabella Banks YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Join the Inspector Gadget Club on Isabella Banks YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button for your VIP pass to a non-stop roller coaster of jaw-dropping revelation, sassy commentary, and a sparkle of humor that will make you snot laugh in public. Also, click the like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these updates. Trust me, you won't regret it. For all those who have already subscribed, welcome back and thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Okay, let's dive back in. Fast forward to 2012 when a BBC bombshell dropped, revealing a Metropolitan Police document calling Adams corrupt. As it turns out, an earlier corruption probe of him had had a tainted star witness, a guy tied to Stephen Lawrence's killer crew a snitch named David Norris. According to this report, David Norris, who gave the testimony, was a police informant. It was alleged that Adams had coached the witness with the informant's lying account, discrediting a witness who had earlier implicated Adams in the corruption probe we had mentioned earlier. 